Hey, this is Safi Vavi from LinkedInRef.com. In this video, we're going to learn the Harry Potter movie theme, officially named Hedwig's Theme by John Williams. And this is actually an arrangement I found on YouTube. And there are many out there. And this one is really, really good. It's a really good guitar arrangement. And it's made by a guy with a black guitar that a student of mine saw and asked me to teach him. So I did. And now I'm going to teach you. So first I'm going to play it, then we're going to break it down lick by lick. Okay, so what makes this piece so dark is the fact that it's in E minor, but it also contains all the wrong notes, meaning chromatic notes. All these and all of these notes. Um, it makes it what it is, actually. Um, that's John Williams for you because it begins in E minor. Okay? This is a B chord. Okay? Up till now, simple, E minor. And then. This is a B flat sus4. It's got nothing to do in the E minor scale itself. Okay? But this is what makes the Harry Potter theme so good. Then the next line is this. And here is when it gets interesting. Bar the 8th fret and put your other finger on the 10th, okay? The 3rd finger. So, and then, and then do the same with barring the 6th fret and putting your 3rd finger on the 8th. So, about chromatics and then it's another chromatic lick and this time you bar the fifth fret and you put all of the rest of your fingers on the sixth the seventh and the eighth frets then this is not a D, um, a D sharp 7. This is not. It's an E diminished chord. So. Okay. And you put your fingers like so. 8, 6, 8. Okay. E minor. Then B part. This is E minor. Seven, 
um, yeah, seven, eight, nine. Then you can call this one C over E. Then an interesting chord. It's E flat minor over C. Um, for those uh, theory headed guys and girls among you, this is C over E, and then this is E flat minor over C. It's interesting, the uh, voice leading. Then back to E minor. Okay. This is, in my opinion, the best line in here. So, um, together it sounds... Okay? And then, you do this again. And the A part ending. The chromatic ending. And then you can repeat the entire thing. And if you want to play my ending, um, it's just instead of. And then I do um, D7 sus4 chord. It's just moving between here and here. Okay? And I finish with this little lick. Um, hinting at this line. I just made a lick out of it. And here I do a slow bend. just bends toward the end of the note and finishing on both open E strings. This one is an amazing piece of music composition, bar none. Go get this under your fingers, it's a lot of fun, but before you do, make sure you subscribe to my channel because I upload a new lesson every couple of days and you don't want to miss them because if you enjoy this one, you're going to enjoy the rest of them. At least most of them. So, go get this under your fingers, go practice, have fun, and um, I'll see you next lesson. Thanks for watching.